Hello, this is Pad the Dog 615. You may know me from my YouTube videos, such as the Hundred Ways Dying Halo. The sequel. My weird off music videos. And if you're a longtime fan, maybe even my Pirates of the Caribbean crap. <laughs> yeah, that stuff sucked. For the past year, I've been a big fan of internet reviewers, such as the Nostalgia Critic, the Angry Video Game Nerd, and hell, even Yahtzee. I have such a deep respect for these internet reviewers, who exposed me to games and movies I never would have heard of. And of course, negative criticism is both fun to write and to read. Well, I think I've been a spectator long enough. If you allow it, I'm going to try and make a video like they do. At least this once. So, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you my first video game review. <clears throat> anyway. I believe that a game doesn't have to be bad to be funny. A fun and well-made game can still have lots of room for humorous critiques. Which is why I'm going to review a game that's close to my heart. The PlayStation 2 classic, Dark Cloud. Dark Cloud was made in 2001 by then new time developer Level 5 as one of the early titles for the PlayStation 2. And let me say that it was an awesome game for the new system. The game showed off new graphical and audio capabilities in the new console and added new gameplay mechanics which made what would have been another dungeon crawler into a unique adventure. It was the first time that an action RPG was combined with a city builder and that doesn't count. But I'll get into that later. For now, let's start the game and see what happens. Okay, I haven't played the PlayStation 2 in a while, so give me a second to set it up. Wow, it's dusty. <coughs> okay, and just plug it in and... Okay. Um, got power. Video. Uh, that's not it. Um, TV. Input, VCR, channel, cable, input, VCR, okay, oh that's better, alright, and now, on with the, uh, my TV appears to be in the basement. Our story begins, oddly enough, with a story. An unseen narrator tells of an ancient story of heroes and legends, and apparently windmills, contained within this old book. Apparently the entire game is just a flashback to the events described in this book. Well since we never see this book or narrator again, it's not really important. That is, until I'm given the option to change the main character's name. This is standard fare for most RPGs, but I thought these were events written down in a book. So how do I change a guy's name? Do I just scratch out certain words in the ancient text and replace them with whatever I want? 
It's like if I was reading Lord of the Rings, but I didn't like Frodo. So every time I see the word, I scratch it out and replace it with the word Jack. It just makes a mess of everything. I wonder what would happen if people do this with other books. I bet that would piss off the librarian. Since I don't feel like defacing ancient artifacts today, I'm just going to leave the name alone. Our real story begins in the, um, Dark Shrine. Really. I never would have guessed. I thought it was a happy fun shrine. We see a bunch of demonic looking dancers standing around a giant fondue pot, doing the, um, the Macarena? We are then introduced to the main villain of the game, Mr. Um, Flag? Okay, um, we're all thinking it, so let's just call him by his real name. So Big Nosed Hitler here bought this ancient urn because the legend says it contains an evil genie, and his whole ceremony is to release it. He then plans to use the genie to, you guessed it, take over the world. Of course! I mean really, if Hitler spent all his money on occult rituals and ancient pots, then no wonder he lost the war. And then we watch the ritual. For three minutes. It doesn't sound like much, but how entertaining can this be? Come on. Hurry up. There is a game in here, right? And finally, they finish the ceremony and release the genie. Such a crick in the neck! Just kidding, this is the Dark Genie. And apparently he's hungry. Which explains why the dancers left in such a hurry. We then cut to Norun Village, where we meet our main character, Toen, or Bob, depending on what you picked, eating dinner. Well, it wouldn't be an RPG if there wasn't a sweet idyllic village to burn down to motivate the main character to go on an adventure. And just to make the situation even worse, they're celebrating the, uh, Harvest Moon Festival? Seriously, this place is so sweet and innocent, it can only tempt fate more if it had a puppy orphanage. In a church run by Smurfs on Sunday. I mean, something's bound to happen to- oh, there we go. Apparently Flag's evil plan to take over the world of course, involves destroying any opposition in his way. Why he considers this little farming village a threat is anyone's guess. Fire at will, Commander. <laughs> this is the most graceful apocalypse I've ever seen. Well, at least things can't get any worse. Oh shit. Huh. Short game. Good to be out of there! I'm telling you, nice to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, where are you from? What's your name? 